This is Sam Drinks Beer, and this is a beer review. So, today's beer comes from Formbridge, and I think it's the first Formbridge beer I have done on the channel. It is a Canada Astrid, a 3.8% juicy pale. Got this from Asda. Uh, they recently got some new uh, craft beers out. Um, this is one of them. I bought four in total. I've also got the Constellations by North Brewing. Uh, doo -doo -doo. It was a oh, Buxton one. It was a Simcoe IPA. I can't remember what it was called. It was something like, uh, I don't know, like Molten or something like that. I don't know. I can't remember what it was called. It sounded quite uh, elemental anyway. Um, and then what was the other one I got? It was, oh, it was a Stout with Badco and Alpha Delta. And I can't remember what the beer was called, but... It, yeah, it was a 6.8% stout, maybe. I don't know. But they were free, free, four for free, four for, four for the price of three, not four for three quid. That would be amazing. Four for the price of three. And I think I spent, paid nine quid in total for the four beers. So, yeah, pretty good going. So, uh, I think this one was the cheapest at £2.50. It was only 3.8%. It was either that or the stout was 2 50 The others were three quid. Fortunately, on the receipt, it just said beer, craft beer. There was three that said craft beer and one that said beer, so I don't know which one was which. So this was either two fifty or three quid. I think I'd imagine it would be the two fifty one. Bad ABV, but you never know. Anyway, let's enough talking. Let's get this into the glass and see how it pours. Well, we can know how to do a good session beer. Obviously, Jaipur is just like the absolute king of cask beer, isn't it? I think you can get this on cask as well. Never had it before though. But it smells amazing actually as it goes into the glass. It smells really juicy. I think it's mosaic that's in this. I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on that. Um, I don't know if there might be other hops as well. Actually, it's a light, fresh, and fruity. Uh, this juicy pale ale is overflowing with tropical fruit flavours and aromas from start to finish with a delicate hot bitterness for balance. Drink as fresh as possible. Uh, it's canned on 27th of August. That's not too bad, is it, for a supermarket there, really? <sighs> Getting on for three months old, but I'm pretty sure they're made. I mean, it's been on a, to be fair, it's been on an ambient shelf, so it could be awful, but we'll see, won't we? It smells okay. It smells quite peppery. Bit of grapefruit. Very hoppy smelling, sort of bit of pine, woodiness. It also smells slightly tart, interestingly. I, to be honest, I'd probably think I was smelling a sour. It's one handed this to me. But yeah, it smells really peppery, slightly tart, slightly sharp, sort of citrus, sort of grapefruit. But there is a bit of pine and a bit of hoppiness. It's an interesting smelling one. Let's dive in. Yeah, it's nice that actually. Um, yeah, it's just a, you know, one sip in or two sips in. It's yeah. The, my instant reaction is this is gonna be a, is a very easy drinking pale ale. I'm not getting any of that weird funky tartness on the taste that I was getting on the smell. It certainly tastes better than it smells actually, but it's really soft. Slightly bitter. It actually tastes like a beer that's made for cask, if I'm honest with you. You know, it's quite, um, I want to say it's fairly traditional in a way. You know, it might be a hazy pale, but I wouldn't say it's, well, it's not that hazy, is it, actually? It's quite clear. You can certainly see the light come through it, but I'd say it's more, um, it's not really a New England pale. I'd say it's more sort of like an English pale. It's sort of quite traditional. We know... You know, Formbridge are one of them breweries that sort of tread the line a bit between the craft and sort of trad ales. Mm. 
yeah, it's just really soft, easy drinking. No bits of grapefruit. Bit of pine, bit of woodiness, bit of earthiness. Bit of maltiness. Slightly lemony. So the only thing that lets it down is a smell. It's not the nicest smelling beer, but it, it tastes good and it's super refreshing, super crushable, super easy drinking little pale. Like I could definitely knock a few of these back and I, like I said, I think this would be really good on cask. I know they do do it on cask, so certainly one hour. Yeah, go and try it at some point, I think. I think I have seen it on cask because I've been to like the Market Cat before in York and which is a Thornbridge pub and I think I'm pretty sure I've seen it on other places. I just for some reason it's just a beer that's I've never gone for. But I saw it in Asda today and actually I thought, you know what, I don't drink enough Thornbridge beer, I'm gonna get this one. Yeah, to rate it, it's a nice little pale ale, 3.8%, super sessionable. One that I imagine will be great on cask. Um, doesn't smell great. Like it does smell a bit slightly like a, like a weird tart sort of funkiness on the smell, which doesn't really suit the style. But none of that on the taste, which is good. It's like bitterness, sauce, but yeah, it's mostly quite soft and yeah, it's juicy. They've nailed the juiciness of it. But yeah, I think this beer is made for sessionability. This is made to be a session pale, and that's what it sets out to do, and that's what it achieves to rate it up. Um, you know what? I'll give it. Can we give it a three point five? It's yeah, it's a solid seven out of ten sort of session beer. Well, I'd happily drink again. And like I said, I really want to try this on cask. Like I said, I've said it about seventeen times now. Um, but. Yeah, it's super refreshing, super easy drinking, and yeah, one one for the session, I think. Uh, so yeah, I think it's one definitely. If it's two pound fifty a can as well, it's one to maybe if you want a few beers to watch with the fab with the football or something. It's it's perfect for that. So yeah, now this has been the review of Astrid by Farnbridge, a juicy pale. Uh, thank you for watching. Please check out my other videos. Drop us a like, subscribe. <laughs> Add me on and tap, Samdrixbeer93, follow me on Instagram, Samdrixbeer YT, click the bell icon, and hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.